Hi everyone, I wanted to talk to you about this homework question and kind of the difference between the simple interest and compound interest and how to find that future value. So this is a question in the compound interest section, but we're comparing simple interest to compound interest. So to do the simple interest question, I'm gonna start by using the formula that interest, the total interest earned, that means you put money in, you earn some extra money, and then you come out with some more. And so the interest is that more, not the total, the what you started with and what you ended with, but interest is equal to the present value. That's how much you put in the bank today times the interest rate as a decimal times time. So in this problem, and this is just for simple, we have 25 years, $15,000 and 7%. So first 7% needs to be converted to a decimal. And that's what we do with simple interest with the formula always. So plug it into a calculator and seven divided by a hundred because percent means per a hundred. Um, seven divided by a hundred is 0 0.07. So the simple interest earned is the present value 1,000 500, sorry, 15,000 times 0 0.07 times our time, which was 25 years. And we're going to plug that into a calculator. I'm going to do that in a different screen. And so we're going to type in and do this with me 15000 times 0 0.07 times 25 years. And that gives us 26,250. The question's asking for, find the value of the investment at the end of 25 years. So we want the future value. So the future value is just what you started with your present value plus the interest that you earned. That's all it is. So we started with $15,000. We earned $26,250. Plug it into a calculator or do it in your head. Zero, 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 five, two, six and five is 11, carry the one. And then we're gonna have so the future value is 41,250. So in here, you're gonna type in 41250. And now we're gonna set the second one up, which is compounded into our time value of money calculator. I'm gonna tell you how to set it up and then I'm gonna have you try it on your own. So it's gonna ask for N. N is the number of periods. And this question, it's compounded monthly for 25 years. So your, your N is going to be 25 years times 12 for months. The solver asks for the interest rate. The calculator just wants the number, just seven. PV, that's our present value. That's the amount we started with. Same amount we started with for the other problem. You're going to plug in 1,500. It's going to ask for a PMT payment. That means every month you put money in. We're not doing that in this problem, so you leave it blank. FV is a future value, and that's what we're solving for. And then it's going to have P slash Y, periods per year, and C, C slash Y, that's compounding per year. And both of those are going to match whatever we multiply the year by, and in this case, monthly, so 12 for both of those. So plug that into your solver and click solve for the future value. And when you are done solving that, you will have 85,881 and 27 cents. Notice how much bigger it is when you compound monthly than when you have simple interest. Um, huge difference. So let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to reach out to me and I will help you be successful. Thank you for all you're doing. Have a great day.